Hey, what's going on, guys? This is David for Flix Talk Podcast. Now, I just wanted to give you guys a quick channel update because the last week or so has been really hectic for me and my community. And I just wanted to give you guys a full update in case you guys don't know what I'm talking about. Now, if you guys follow me, uh, I've been really, really stagnant on the Flix Talk Podcast. And uh, there's a couple reasons why. Now, a few things have happened to me. And like I said, my community over the last week. Now, one big thing. Sorry, guys, if you can hear my cat in the back, he's going crazy. He has full of energy. He's full of energy. Anyways, um, on a serious note, guys, uh, if you guys aren't familiar with Thousand Oaks, California, that is a city that's only a few miles away from me. And my area got hit with the next mass shooting. Now, I know there's been over 300 mass shootings this year. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Thousand Oaks, it was rated like number three safest cities in the country. And uh, it kind of just puts into perspective, you know, a new light that anything can happen anywhere. Uh, so we're dealing with that. Um, you know, luckily, there was not anybody that I knew. It was, a, uh, you know, a lot of younger kids. Unfortunately, it was terrible from age 18 to like um, 23 or something like that, as, you know, as well as a officer who put his life on the line. You know, um, so there's a lot of things going on, guys, and it's it's more than just movies. There is this is a fun hobby that I do, but it did hit close to home, and you know, it was freaking scary. You know, the 12 that died about a week ago, November 7th, uh, at around 11 p.m. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, that happened. Literally the next day, my town was hit by a crazy fire that is, I believe, over a hundred thousand acres now, um, destroyed our land destroyed everything. And, um, fortunately I was not evacuated. Um, it actually started heading towards Malibu. And unfortunately that whole city was evacuated and it, like four over 400 homes were burned. And, um, you know, a couple of lives were lost down here. Now up North California in Butte County, the camp, what they call the campfire, um, took over 40 lives. And this is like real deal stuff, guys. And, uh, you always see it on TV and you, and you don't really feel the full impact until it hits home. And this is what's been going on. And the fires are still continuing to burn, guys. And they don't really have a huge containment on it. Uh, the hill fire that's that's only about a mile away from me uh, is about 80, 90 percent contained. Uh, but there's little fires here and there that keep erupting. And, the, and I believe the Woolsey fire is the one that's about 65% contained. That's the one that's taking over Malibu. And it's actually sparked up little flare-ups that are moving closer to me. So I don't know what's going to happen, guys. No one knows. These wind patterns are going crazy. But I just wanted to give you guys a channel update of what's going on because real life stuff, once again, is happening in my area of Southern California. Now, on to the next update. Uh, if you guys didn't know, I do have a musical background uh, in production and DJing specifically. So that was something that I've done over 10 years now. And it was something that I put on pause as of January 2018. You know, I got the opportunity once again to DJ uh, consistently. Uh, it's a great source of extra income. So I did take it and I am uh, DJing weekly here now again. So... I am taking on that responsibility of just having to update my library with music constantly. So that means less here on this channel for me. So I'm going to try to do once a week. I, I still am going to the movies, guys. Um, and I was actually going to review. Oh, there's my freaking cat in the back. But I actually was going to review up next uh, Overlord, which I think was an amazing movie that I really wanted to talk about. Uh, and I was actually going to see it last Thursday. But because of the fires, it actually blocked off the whole 101 freeway. I couldn't even get to my theater. So I had to wait until Sunday um, to go see it. And uh, that's still fresh in my mind. So I'm actually going to record a video in the next couple of days, guys, for you. And I'll get that up as soon as possible. But I just want to let you guys know there is a lot of stuff happening in my life. And uh, we don't really think about it. You know, I mean, we think of, you know, just these reviewers as people that don't have anything to do but review. But we have a lot of things going on in our lives. And these are some of the things that have happened in less than a week, guys. Um, six days. And, you know, six days in my life. I started DJing again. Uh, we've had a mass shooting in my area where 12 people died. And there's a fire that's devastating and, you know, taking over almost over 100,000 acres of, uh, of my hometown. So this is, it's getting crazy, guys. 
And um, there's another flare-up. Like I said, on the way home from work, another damn flare-up. And the humidity levels being down and the Santa Ana winds picking up and not knowing the direction of where this stuff is going or headed to next is scary. And I'm scared that I'm probably going to get evacuated. Anyways, guys, that's a update on uh, what's going on. But like I said, with this channel, I'm going to try to update as much as I possibly humanly can um, because my theater that I go to, the AMC theater, is in the line of fire, unfortunately. So uh, I'm going to write it out and see how much, you know, see how many times I can go a week to the movie theater. But Overlord, like I said, guys, is the next one that I want to review. I'm trying to keep in hope, you know, high hopes and high spirits and stuff like that. It's very hard when people around you are dying and, you know, you're living in a literal fire hell. And you see it every time you look out the window. It's pretty bad. And the air quality is unhealthy, guys. That's another thing, too. So I'm coughing, you know, for the past four days, waking up, just coughing, coughing my lungs out. It's, it's really bad for us. Um, so just keep us in your thoughts and prayers or whatever you guys, you know, can send positive energies our way. Uh, like I said, it's not affecting me, fortunately. But these fires, I can just walk down the street and look and... They are damn close. It looks like a movie, guys. It looks really, really bad. But yeah, guys. All right. So thank you guys so much for tuning in to my channel update. And I'm going to have that overlord. I'm going to have that. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? You want to say hi to everybody? Come here. And this is the newest addition to the Flix Talk family, guys. And I can't get any sleep because this guy. Say hi, Moach. Say hi. <laughs> this is the reason, guys. But I love him. I love him. I love him. He makes a lot of noise, though. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. And uh, leave a comment below if you are being affected by these fires, if you're in Southern California as well. They're scary, guys, uh, because anything can happen any minute. And we just got to stand on our toes, and I'm constantly watching the news. And uh, the low containment is not really helping my spirits, guys. But, um, yeah, anyways, till the next one, guys. This is David for Flix Talk signing out, saying thanks for watching.